What's going on guys, it is Dark Art. This is some impressive gameplay by my friend on PlayStation 3. This guy's a complete Rex saucing monster. Gets amazing gameplays most of the time. Plays on the PS3 and you saw him in the elementary school shooting video. Which was quite sad. But on a brutal side, I hope you guys enjoy the topic I'm about to bust into. And I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Without further ado, let's begin. So... In this video, I, I just want to talk about the future of what I believe the human civilization um, race, more, more on long terms of, should be doing. As of right now, we have explored more of space than our own oceans, which is quite impressive, but it just shows how, how little we explore our own planet and how, how much stuff we can actually uncover about Earth. So, back onto the topic of where we should be heading. I think we should be heading more towards space and getting ourselves out there more. Now, right now, we don't have the technology, and we won't have the technology for, you know, not a super long time, but maybe for a couple centuries or so. Because back in the day, in the 50s, 40s, 60s, that area, we evolved in technology extremely fast. It, it was actually a little bit too fast for our growth projectile school there. And there's some conspiracy theorists that believe there was some type of intervening during that area of technology that allowed us to speed up our technology growth. But back onto the topic, we won't p possess technology to propel ourselves into space for a great distance for a couple centuries just for the fact that right now technology is growing but it's not growing exponentially if we just look at all the factors of getting humans into space just to the moon there's a lot of things and variables we can settle so if we multiply that by 40 40 50 times it's real. It's a huge load on what we would have to come up with solution-wise. How we would, what energy source we would use, how much supply we would have to bring, time allowed to the mission or a mission, just to get us into space. And we will never be able to get ourselves into space with the technology we have now and the re and the energy sources we possess such as oil, solar, hydroelectricity we will just never be able to get ourselves into space further than what we are now with those resources so what we would have to basically do is most likely get a slingshot of some sort that would propel us really fastly without using that much energy Allowing the spacecraft to get into space, um, get into space deeply. That's our main goal. And there's some thoughts that we could bend space and bend it downwards, slide the next part over it, and then let us cross it, and then space would go up. So if you think about a sidewalk, let's think about a one mile long sidewalk. Half of the half the mile, it opens up and then the rest of the mile splits in or like forms together you walk past it you're off the sidewalk the middle opens up again and now you have a mile that's the same principle of space we will eventually be able to do that I know that for a fact but I like I said it's just going to take a long time now what we will be doing in space is another question I personally think we should be looking for life. Now, I think there was a huge misconception about what life is in space. People think it's always aliens. We're, we're technically full on life away from um, Earth would be alien life. But they think of like small little beings, harmful aliens. When in, when in case, it wouldn't really be, be that. The first life we would most likely find would probably be bacteria size, which is fairly small. Not little green Martians invading us. <laughs> Destroy our humans. 
quite ironic how I'm talking about space when I'm doing it to destroy our humans walk through, but that that won't be the life we full see most likely. And with that said, even the smallest bacteria could affect us tremendously. We don't know what this bacteria's life is like. We don't know what harmful mutagens it could kill. Toxins, I mean. It's just really complicated of a subject. Which, luckily, I won't have to come up with because it won't happen in my lifetime. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video talking about space and the future of humans into space. Uh, I thought it was quite an interesting topic. Just wanted to spice it up a little bit, give us some more futuristic uh, topic, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a great, great day.